Hello, and welcome to Engadget Live, where, uh, oh yeah, first of all, hi, I'm Jessica Condit, Senior <laughs> Editor for Engadget.com, and with me is... Hey, I'm Devendra Hardwar, also Senior Editor, and we we are the games crew, right? Ooh. Right, Jess? Yeah. We're, we're the <laughs> next-gen crew. We have been crushing reviews on the next-gen. Um, and today we're going to play some Xbox Series X games live, and we're going to see if it works. Let's see if this um, works. We have not done see. much game streaming for a while, right? So, yeah. you know, we got to figure this out within our video system, but it's it's looking good so far. Yeah, so we we basically want to show off like what this new system looks like, how some of the games are playing. Um, the Xbox Series X review is live on Engadget uh, alongside the Xbox Series S review, alongside the PlayStation 5 <laughs> review. So, um, oh, I boy. mean, there's videos, there's scores. Eat your heart out, folks. Um, but... So Xbox Series X, um, I want to kick yeah. off with some Forza because that's just a pretty game. And I think that's, that's where we're going to start. such a pretty game. And yeah. it is like, this is the thing, right? These We're going to be seeing last gen games mainly because right now we don't have access to a lot of the new stuff. So I'm here in Forza. Let's look at some of the settings actually while we're in okay, here. Okay, yeah. Oh. Are you so a car guy? You know, I'm not. You know car things. I don't know car things, but I like to drive fast cars, and I have like a certain amount of. Um, there, yeah, you know, there is stuff I like to do. I like to see car stuff. Um, yeah. I like to play, drive fast cars in games because it really chills me out, and I especially like the Forza series because, especially Forza Horizon, because it's just you know, uh, it is just pure pure open world car play mm -hmm. it's all fun and a nice soundtrack and like very simple goals so when i just want to veg out at night this is a good fun game to see yeah i think seeing... in real life mm -hmm. in real life i think we actually have the same car you were talking uh -huh. about yours recently and i was like yep uh -huh. i have that same car so i think we are very much the same pace uh, oh yeah when it comes to the daily yeah. driver nice um, new cars with cool tech right yeah they're fine they're lovely but no in a game i don't I, I actually, in Forza, I always want to go farther off the track if you want me to, mm -hmm. if the game wants me to. Um, maybe I need yeah. to play something, something uh, I don't know, it's Dirt 5 let you play off the track anymore. Mm -hmm. you know? Dirt 5, no, not really off the track. No, they're, like they're, they're pretty... Forza, yeah. Yeah. But uh, let's talk about like specifically what's new to Series X here. Um, we can't see this in the stream, unfortunately. Like uh, Broadcasting a 4K 60fps stream is not great, but that is something you can do if you have an Xbox Series X and Forza Horizon 4. So the game will look a lot smoother. Right now we're running it at 1080, 60 FPS. So you'll see like some smoothness compared to uh, if you're playing this game on like an Xbox One S or even an OG Xbox One, like it's gonna look smoother. Although you could get this performance that you're seeing right now on the stream on the freaking One X, so. Right. Not the best judge right now, but hey, this game runs. I want to show you guys gears. Can we look at gears too? Well, do you want to run through maybe some of the UI, mm -hmm. just like this, just what sure. the Xbox looks like when you when you load it up? Yeah. I feel like this is the main thing. So what I really like about the Series X, right? It's all the same. Series X has and Series S have the same new UI that Microsoft just updated across mm -hmm. the entire one line. But you know, you've got a slightly splashier homepage, large images. But what I love, what I can't get enough of here is like it just like it just flies i can actually load all my games load the store these are everything here's my full library look at my all my load own games boom everything just moves mm -hmm. and be sure to check out our review for like the full skinny on what's new and different with these systems but i feel like the main thing you see right now especially just with the the nimbleness of the actual um interface is just the ssd like just having a really fast SSD that can pull data really quickly and display it to you. And you we have no more mechanical hard drives, folks. Let's just get rid of all those, please. Yeah, no, it's it's incredibly zippy. Mm -hmm. Like like everything you're right just loads immediately. Mm -hmm. um, I do wonder, like I ran into one issue on, on the Series S where the console yeah. itself, like I had to hard restart it. Ooh, um, and I was just yeah. like walking the HBO Max app when that happened. Um, <laughs> you, you you just have a battle with the HBO Max dude, app. I, I feel do, like that's I the do. thing. Yeah. We're fighting. We're in a mm -hmm. we're in an actual fight. But um 
no. So I, that's the only time that happened. And it wasn't mm -hmm. like I was hardwired uh, to my network and everything. So yeah. my only thought is that my storage was like 96% full. And I mm -hmm. wonder if that kind of taxes the console a little extra, Not you know, when maybe you're streaming. It really well, shouldn't. that's the thing. I was like, yeah. what happened? So I don't know what that oh, was. Oh boy. Um, I just I, wonder I if want... these consoles mm -hmm. get fuller, but yeah. I do want to tell the audience we we were hoping we could show off some Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I know there there is a streaming embargo that just went up, but our copy is not like is not launching, so that's not fun. Yeah, I will I will we, prove we it to you right now. Um, so sometimes we do get early access to games, especially for review and things like this. But sometimes those games do not quite work on time, and then you have to beg the developers to give you extra extra early access. So this is what you get if you preload a game. You'll see the same error. Uh, but let me. Is this actually let me show loading you. now? Oh no, no it's, not. it's not loading. <laughs> okay. It's just like in the back. I have a little delay here. That's funny. No problem. Okay, that's what. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's what a few games were telling me too. You're too early. <laughs> nice try. Too early. It's okay. Um, this, by the way, is like as much as I love, and I'll tell you guys up front. I think the Series X is my favorite next gen console just because it has everything I want. It's super fast. I love the library of Game Pass games and being able to play all of my old Xbox games. Like that is a big plus for me. I'm gonna hop over to Gears 5 here. Um, mm -hmm. But the the big problem is that, yeah, there, there aren't any of those super compelling first party launch titles. Halo Infinite has been delayed till next week or mm -hmm. next not next week, next right. year. <laughs> year um, yeah. And compared to like freaking the PlayStation 5 has Miles Morales, it has the Demon Souls remake. It has Devil May Cry, uh, Devil May Cry 5 special edition which looks great. Um, it has if you bug want the snacks. games, it has bug, bug snacks. Mm. Yeah. But I will say, if you are an Xbox gamer, and if you're also if you're somebody who's just enjoyed the Game Pass experience, like I am, a lot of the games you've been playing will just run better, and I feel like that's going to be a big plus for a lot of people. So Forza, mm -hmm. not you can't quite see in the stream, but you can get up to 4K 60. Gears 5, I think you can actually make out. So we're going to load this up here. You going to do the 120 multiplayer? I wish, uh, because that yeah. will not pop up. It's not going to show stream. up. No, no. Yep. But uh, you can so, if you wanted. Yeah, Gears 5 has a couple cool modes. Uh, it will run 4K 60 FPS in the campaign and in uh, cutscenes, whereas I believe the One X didn't quite get all that way. Um, and there are also more special effects. There's more lighting. There's things like that. This game hasn't been fully optimized for the velocity architecture, so that's why this initial load is taking a while. And also, I haven't played Gears 5 in a while, too. So from the first time I launched it, uh, I didn't realize there's this whole new, like, Call of Duty screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you, you have yeah. to choose, like, your team, your lobby. You have to make a lobby to go into a game. But let's just start a level here. But what they did with Gears uh, 5 is that they basically just reworked the game to run at sort of the max levels that it does on PC. But they also added some ray tracing for lighting elements. So the game just looks better, even if you're going to be looking at it in like this lower resolution here. It plays, it feels better. Like, mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 60 FPS. Like, mm -hmm. check out our reviews where we really dive into this. But I think the main draw of this generation isn't just 4K, and 4K is nice, but you really won't notice it unless you're sitting right up close to your TV. Whereas mm -hmm. the Leap 260 FPS is just like, you will see it, your eyes see it. Our eyes are naturally attuned to, you know, accept faster motion and for games and in particular for responsiveness, 60 FPS just looks and feels so much better. Do you have, do you ever have the experience where you or someone that's like watching you play mm -hmm. is like, why does that look weird? Or is like, why does that look different? Yeah. Because like that's that happened actually. Like Rami was like, why does this look different? And I was like, it's mm -hmm. it's the frames. Like you're it's like you're seeing like a different color almost. Like yeah, yeah. you're just seeing a yeah. little more motion and it really changes the experience. You're seeing yeah. more motion and also like yeah. I mean HDR was a bigger thing towards the end of last gen and HDR is still a thing here, so all that like all that comes into it. Like HDR lets you see higher um, more texture, like a uh, more color range, and also deeper black levels, uh, brighter white levels, mm -hmm. and I feel like HDR just made like a huge difference for last gen. Mm -hmm. there, let's clear them out. Well, and yeah. the HDR calibration on the Series X and the Series S, I mean, it's really easy. I think if you have an HDR TV, mm -hmm. if you have a TV that supports game mode, if you you know if you have variable yeah. refresh rate. That's what that HDMI 2.1 cable does. It mm -hmm. automatically enables 
um, like game mode on your TV, um, and so so making your your uh, refresh rate a little better, mm-hmm. um, your your frame rate run a little smoother. Um, yeah. And then That's yeah, HDR good. you can calibrate it through an app right on the Xbox, um, but. It's super good, and right. yeah. the thing I'll say about HDMI 2.1, right, is that that is mainly getting you the bandwidth to 4K beyond 60 FPS, because that was a limit we had, mm-hmm. um, you know, last time around. Uh, let me see if the screen has yeah. been moving for you guys. Um, let me reboot my game capture right now. Um, I think HDR was a great thing last gen, but now some games are going to be able to go beyond 4K 60. Is the stream mm-hmm. moving for you guys? Or is it paused in place? Okay. Yeah, it looks good. I'm seeing you. Let me... You're getting beat up right now. <laughs> I am getting beat up. Well, this oh, is you. what you guys are going to see because it is not actually there refreshing you go. for me. So hold on. Hold on. Oh, you're Use getting shot. I'll screen. tell you where to go. Yeah, I'll tell, tell me where, you to, where go. to move. I am okay, playing blind your right now. <laughs> shoot your luck. <laughs> uh, You'll get red. It's okay. You'll get revived. <laughs> I tried. Uh, I actually said this in my Series S review. I played some <laughs> Gears Five. I tried to die because I just wanted to like get a, a respawn screen, yeah. and it would not let me. My teammates kept reviving me. The robot kept coming over and Thank you, reviving robot. me. I love the robot. Thank you, Dave. Like that's great. But like, I was like, come on. I'm trying to. I'm just let me crawl into my corner and mm-hmm. and, and die, please. Uh, um, okay. So let me. I'm going to stop this stream and reboot it. So just alert okay. you, video team because right now my Elgato software, I'm using an Elgato HD 60S to stream this. So I wish I had a 4K streaming device, mm-hmm. didn't have one on hand and it just hasn't been super stable, which is a darn shame. Any other thoughts, Jess? Cause I know you've had more, you've had more time with the Xbox One X hardware too. Cause you had the preview hardware. You've had a lot of time to think about this. Like what is truly next gen about this for you? So, so I entered this um, this generation thinking mm-hmm. that the Series S was going to be the console for me because yeah, you know yeah. I didn't I don't really you know I don't need that stuff. It's going to be an upgrade from like the PS4, which is what I use mostly now. Um, but mm-hmm. after using the Series X, the Series S, and the PS5, um, I definitely want that higher performance level. I because the you can tell you can see it. The Series mm-hmm. S compared to the Series X. It's a big difference, I think, uh, in a lot of games. Like I, I can definitely feel it. Um, you know, the Series S feels like a next gen console, mm-hmm. but uh, just comparatively, I think the Series X and the PS5 have like way more longevity. They have staying mm-hmm. power. Um, so, so yeah, they're both. All of these consoles are great, right? No one's going to be yeah. upset, yeah. I think, buying any of these consoles. Like they're they're a step up from what you have now. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, I think so, before yeah, too, like I wrote a whole thing just right about like the Series mm-hmm. S seeming very exciting. I think it is for that price point, it but is. it is limited by storage. It is limited by a few things. Maybe in a year or so too, like when that is cheaper, I can imagine that being a pretty sweet deal. Uh, the four hundred dollar PS Five, I, mm-hmm. I wonder. I think a lot of people are going to be jumping on that just because that is that's the system. You know, you get everything. You get everything yep. but the disc drive. And for a lot of people who are buying games digitally who, you know, maybe don't need access to their old physical library. Like it seems like a smart buy just to save a hundred bucks to do that. Yeah. No, I like that a lot. That seems Mm -hmm. like, that seems like what I was thinking the Series S was going to be more Mm -hmm. so, you know, so, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, And I think the price points were not shocking to anyone this, this generation either. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, that every console launch and everyone was like, yeah, that sounds about right. (laughs) And then we all moved on. So like, that was nice. Uh, we didn't have to have that big conversation. Yeah. One okay. thing I'll mention, uh, just we're back into Gears 5 here. Mm-hmm. I think the level of detail overall, the quality of the shadows, like the shadows look very realistic. The lighting overall, like there's more pop to everything. So just the lighting on like when you're firing shots and stuff too, it all just looks better. Um, and when I'm watching it, you know, on my TV with HDR and everything, like uh, there's a lot going on there. <laughs> Do you play a lot of Gears? Is this, oh, this isn't good. Is this oh, your yeah, I'm a Gears master. I'm a total I Gears tell. master. I can tell you're a Gears head. I'm total Gears head right now. You're total um, Gears. Yeah. That's more of a Gears butt in my face, mm-hmm. but that's fine. But I, I, like, as far as show pieces go, I like to bring this up because I think this game just reminds me of what I, what I experienced playing Gears 5 and Gears 4 on a PC. 
and I've been doing PC gaming for a while now, so I'm like, I want 60 FPS everywhere. Mm -hmm. I want as high resolution as I can get. Although 4K, I was never super sold on that on the PC side. It was always great to like hook up my PC to my TV and get some 4K gaming, but it was never the main draw. It was really all the better special effects, uh, things like ray tracing too, which we have a little bit of that right. here. I forget like how exactly time. they're implementing it, but I did read some of the uh, some of the developer logs, and they're not using the hardware ray tracing that is built into the AMD GPU. So it's not like the full scope of ray tracing that we're already seeing in Spider-Man Miles Morales mm -hmm. and Devil May Cry uh, Devil May Cry Five on the PS5. And those mm -hmm. PS5 launch games just took advantage of the, that, that tech more quickly. I hope Microsoft gets more people to do it. This is a particularly yeah. bad, um, this is such a brutal Teen. situation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I think, me you, in general. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there was some reaction to your your review of the Series X yeah. because like your your beef with it was like, there's no game. But yeah. like everyone- No everyone new thinks, games. No, of course. There's, yeah. But there's a whole library of 3,000 backwards compatible It's games. true, it's true. Game. And if and you're fine true. with that, then- Right. Hey, like, it is still my favorite next-gen console um, because I have a huge backlog of Xbox 360 mm -hmm. games um, and Xbox One games. So mm -hmm. seeing these play faster, um, I'll show you guys Alan Wake in a bit. Yeah. Um, the cool thing about the Series X that I really enjoy is that it is backwards compatible with 20 years worth of Xbox games, right? All the way up to the original Xbox. There's auto HDR um, for older games too, so it'll take advantage of newer TVs better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and the other HDR works pretty well. And actually, in my review, I made a mistake. I thought I didn't find the setting to turn that off if I wanted to. Uh, there okay. is a setting, so I will update my mm -hmm. review for that. Um, okay. Yeah, but it's... I played Geometry Wars, Retro Evolved, and we'll do a bit of that here. Oh um, yeah. You know, it still runs well. Oh. That, that was the game of my, I want to say, senior year of high school. That's, oh, yeah. That was my jam. Absolutely. Those definitely. Yeah. No, and, like... We talked oh, a little bit about there. the PS5. Oh, yeah, we talked a little fine. bit about the PS5, but like, you're right. Miles Morales looks incredible on the PS5. Like mm -hmm. these, the games on on the PS5, the the new games that they're launching with are really showcasing the hardware in a way that like the Xbox Series X doesn't have anything that really does that. You know, mm -hmm. they all look good, but we're not seeing the full extent of what this console can do. Where Sony has that. Um, yeah, and so totally and that's that. it's really impressive when you get your hands on it. Absolutely, yeah. This is, so this is the problem, right? I'm trying to like find you guys something to really show off the system, and this is what I mean by we need the games. Xbox mm -hmm. Series X and Series S needs games. I, I could play Sea of Thieves; it'll be beautiful. It'll be 4K 60. I could play The Tourist; it'll be 4K 60 FPS. But everybody played The Tourist on the Switch last year, and yeah. also in a much lower resolution, but in 60 FPS. So. I love this game. It's a lot of fun. It looks great on my TV, but it still seems like we're going back to the games that already exist. Like nothing super new, nothing that you would rush out to buy a console for. And that's fine. Um, I've seen some reviews call this the boring console and it kind of is, but <laughs> I'm, I'm a boring guy. So I, it is very practical in a way. Like I, this is the box that means I don't have to chain a 30 foot HDMI cable from my PC to my TV to play some really good looking games. Um, yeah, no, and, yeah, and I think that that's, that's very valuable for a lot of people, like mm -hmm. getting this much power in the living room for their console and also for their entertainment apps. Like this is also gonna power Netflix and, and YouTube and whatever else. And it does yeah. it at, you know, a really high resolution. It's really nice. <laughs> um, so, I, I mean, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. um, Calling this console boring, the Xbox Series X. There's is boring. so much hardware. That's There's never so entered, much hardware. That's yeah. never entered my my mind. It's not yeah. boring. Yeah, I mean, I'm a hardware yeah. geek, so I like the fact it's that this true. has an eight core custom We're Zen 2 it. processor. It has an <laughs> RDNA 2 GPU, the fastest of any console. I like that stuff. Um, and the cooling system is pretty impressive. And the this fan, thing is look, silent. I feel like that so is so quiet. The, it's so quiet, but. <laughs> Then, at the end of the day, once you have all this hardware, you're playing a game that was out on the Switch last year, and also ran at 60 FPS on the Switch, which is shocking, honestly. Mm -hmm. But it looks good here. It looks good in 4K. Uh, my favorite thing, if it works this time, my favorite thing in general has been the quick uh, the quick resume feature, which I don't think is working on Gears, Gears 5, right? Oh, they have to update it. Them. 
yeah, they have to still update this one. So Gears 5 is launching like a normal game, but I will I'll jump between some other ones to show you. I know yeah, like so, Ori has it. Most games seem to have mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So right yeah. now Gears 5 is going to launch. Um, but if I went back to the tourist, is that one gonna do it? Mm -hmm. And yeah, tapping the home button and just navigating through all your titles, even when mm -hmm. something's kind of loading in the background, usually works out all right. You mm -hmm. know, like this console. It can handle like when you're <laughs> indecisive like that, which sometimes that'll. Break I don't know what to play. I don't know what to play. Yeah. Okay, let's go to. That one didn't do so it. So if I do, if I launch Red Dead, that's going to take a while. Although that is a great one. Um, Yakuza yeah. Like a Dragon. This is a new Yakuza game. It's it. also not just. It's not going to be dedicated to next gen. So it is on. It's also on the Xbox One. Um, but it's a good looking game. It goes 4K60. It really takes advantage of this hardware. But at the end of the day, it's still a Yakuza game. So it can only look so good, even though this is the newest and greatest Yakuza game. And I like the fact that it's basically, um, you know, a Yakuza RPG. Because it's uh, so the main, opera. It's, it's fantastic. A, so good. Yeah. So good. Um, yeah, within the first hour of this game, there was a baby in a locker. There was somebody's father gets killed during dinner. It's just all over the place. Um, the main character is in love with Dragon Quest. So that's why the entire game um, basically runs like a, runs like an RPG. So he visualizes battles in his mind like that. <laughs> but here we go. Let's see it. Yeah. So this is a game and, and this is a good looking rendition of the Yakuza City. 60 FPS, 4K, everything looks nice. On an HDR monitor, like all these lights and everything just pop off the screen, which is fantastic. I love all the nice neon. Reflections. Yeah. Like, yeah, this game really gets the vibe, right? Like games like Persona, I feel yeah. like too, they really get that city life down. I miss, oh man, I miss, so normally every year at Engadget, we, we have to go to Computex, right? We have to go to Taiwan mm -hmm. to, cover some of the latest consumer electronics and PC electronics there. And I really miss going, like making that trip, um, going through these sad side alleys of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of Taipei with beautiful neon lights. Taipei doesn't look this fancy, but it's still like a fun city. Um, maybe we're just mm -hmm. all been, we've been, all been quarantined too long. Yeah. So seeing, <laughs> you know, being able to walk around the city, run into a crowd of person. Whoa, I'm not going to get sick from this person. Amazing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. We all we all need to get out. The second we start missing trade shows, I mean, we know it's been too long. Yeah. Oh man, I miss traveling just in general. But I am traveling now through games. So Yakuza is a good one if you if you've never mm -hmm. been to Japan, if you want sort of the urban experience uh, of Japan with heightened soap opera elements, this is a good one. I think I can look at a couple of the settings here. So game it has a it has mm -hmm. like a performance mode, right? Or mm -hmm. you can tweak the frames or something. yeah, it has a normal mode and a high resolution okay. mode, which I I believe they're both still 60 FPS. Okay. Uh, but I think the the normal mode just optimizes for 4K. Uh, it optimizes for 60 FPS. It may drop below 4K. Gotcha. Yeah. Which is how I would prefer to play. Yeah, most definitely. Prioritize. Like if anybody yeah. if anybody asks me what is my preference. For any of these games, for PC games or for consoles, it is give me frame rate over resolution mm -hmm. any day. I think that's how it, that's just how it mm -hmm. is for most people, and that's why I thought the Series S. I was like, okay, it can handle yeah. you know some higher frame rates and all that, but mm -hmm. but no, I think the the extra boost of the Series X it, it's worth it in my mind, at least mm -hmm. for the storage space. I yeah. bet next year, if we or maybe in a few years on, we might see a one terabyte like Series S kind of thing. Oh, like most black, definitely, yeah. Small console, yeah, for sure. I just I try to think forward like what these things will cost. So like maybe a Series S that will be two hundred bucks eventually. They're still making the Xbox One S, which is shocking yes. to me. But I wonder if that's going to be just an X Cloud box by next year or something, or if they're Absolutely. just going to have a dongle. Just give me a dongle that pairs to the controller, you know, that runs over X Cloud. Yep. That would be fantastic too. I, I think the the big thing here is Microsoft has done a good job of they're building out uh, out the world. They're building out where games are going. So they're building mm -hmm. out xCloud. They have it's game subscriptions. Yeah. No, you're right. They're mm -hmm. they're really focused on this next the next generation as as a real shift in mm -hmm. video games. Like this this kind of cloud gaming phenomenon that's taking over. Um, mm -hmm. that Microsoft is really driving right now. Um, that 
they're very well positioned. Microsoft is very well positioned to be a leader in the cloud gaming space. So I mm -hmm. think that's why they're focused on it and they should be. Um, <laughs> Google is pretty much dropping the ball with Stadia. Um, they have enough money and you know runway to, I think, keep it alive for a while. But we've seen Google launch ambitious projects and drop them. This you know Stadia doesn't feel like it's uh, it's not really leading the charge. Um, but xCloud, yeah. I mean, the, that network that Microsoft has powered by their whole Azure mm -hmm. cloud network that is just booming, you know, financially. Yeah, you can um, you can play xCloud fine. right now if you just yep. subscribe to game, uh, subscribe to Game Pass, right? Uh, and get an Android phone and get mm -hmm. one of the little controller pads and plug it in. You don't need an Xbox at this point for xCloud. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, that is, I think that is eventually where this, this industry is going to be. It, you know, it's not, it's not going to be completely cloud-based, but I think it'll be heavily cloud-based mm -hmm. in the long run. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, this we'll is see. the beginning I mean, of that. Internet that's has to get better. That's yeah, that's the idea. Yeah. Internet has to get better. Uh, but we're, hey, look at what's happening on the Switch. Uh, they just announced mm -hmm. some cloud-powered games. Control seems to work pretty well for a lot of folks. So mm -hmm. if you have decent internet, it's a good option. Uh, I'm loading up Alan Wake here because I'm nostalgic for it. But also, I've loved Control so much, and I want to go back and play some of the older Remedy games. This is a game that really is all about the interplay of light and dark. And again, you can't see it on the stream. We can't stream HDR. HDR, like, uh, HDR is a, such a weird specific thing. But if you imagine like just the highlight of this flashlight being much brighter than it is here, the lights in the sky or even the moon in the sky, like when I'm playing this game on my TV, everything just kind of stands out more. So the darkness feels a little deeper, um, a little more detailed too, because there's more depth to just the color black and how dark a screen can go. But it's really the lights and the fact when I shine a flashlight on somebody, it is almost electric on the screen and it's great. It makes it's good enough to make me want to go back and play this game, which I don't even think you can play on PC now, right? Like, didn't they pull Alan Wake from Steam because of oh, music licenses? Yeah. That was a so while you can play ago. it now. I don't know if yeah. it's back. But yeah, but, but no, I think, I think, and this is what we were talking about with mm -hmm. Microsoft's, you know, big library backward compatible games. It's not that there aren't games to play on these mm -hmm. new boxes, um, it's just the, the new stuff is lacking for <laughs> Microsoft right now. Um, and then I wonder, like the medium, which was that Bloober mm -hmm. Team horror game that's coming to Xbox, yep. Yep. that was just delayed because they don't want to launch in the same window as Cyberpunk, basically, which is in mm -hmm. December. So they they just delayed that to January. So it's just like kind of the steady stream of where are the new games for the <laughs> Xbox? So, way they at? Yeah. Uh, they at? I really want to show off Quick Resume, but for some reason it's not working like it was during the review. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe our system just doesn't hmm. want to co cooperate with us right now. Um, that's the main thing. So yeah, Ori had it. Even Ori Red has Dead it. had it. Yeah, let me go back to Ori. Dirt 5 has it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Dirt 5, a game. Exist. <laughs> mm -hmm. It does exist. Yeah. It, Dirt 5 is a game we review. Well, not review, but we kind of previewed. And mm -hmm. then the limitations of what we could talk about around Dirt changed. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Needs an update. <laughs> the joys oh, of so next funny. gen gaming. Yeah. No, that happens guys... a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's just like it's just all these games are are tweaking themselves for this for this new console. So mm -hmm. makes sense. There's so much. Um beyond that, like if you if you guys have had an Xbox One, it is a similar experience. I wish uh, my dream would be we could do a stream that's actually 4K that can go all the way to 60 FPS and do HDR. But unfortunately, streaming technology will not allow for that. That would not be so great. Um, everything's looking pretty good. It's the main thing. Let's try mm -hmm. Assassin's Creed again. And Red um, Dead takes a while to boot up, you said. Red Dead sick take a while. So we can actually, let me start booting that because I can talk a bit about what that means. But I think in general, just seeing how quickly I'm moving through this whole interface yeah. is a big one. Um, there were a couple Where's things. The... Uh, we're waiting for access to Watch Dogs Legion. That's going to be a big one. Valhalla, I can't wait. Um, mostly because that seems more like Assassin's Creed Origins than uh, than Odyssey, which mm -hmm. Odyssey went a little a little hard on the superhero mechanics, I think. Yeah. You were a straight up superhero in Odyssey. Oh, here we go. This one worked. So that was my yeah, Red Dead quick game. Resume. That one loaded oh. in five seconds. We were and so I'm worried wanted. about long load times. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Fantastic. 
And now you're in. And now I'm in, and also dying. <laughs> My horse is dying. Oh no, not the horse. This can't be our stream, Cassandra. Oh my god. <laughs> what have you done to us? Save the horse! Save that the horse, the please. <laughs> uh, so, Red Dead <laughs> on the Xbox... Um, <laughs> on the One X, it ran at 4K30. I was in the middle of a firefight here, so I was already like... <laughs> Uh, okay. It ran at 4K30. It still runs at 4K30 on the Series X. I hope Rockstar gives us an update to 4K60 because that would just look so much better. And if you'll remember, guys, like when Red Dead 2 came out, the HDR, just the HDR alone, was so much better on the Xbox compared to like what it looked like on PS4. Um, mm -hmm. It really made the game just look that much more realistic. So I'm, I'm tempted. I played this game... When my daughter was a newborn and I was just like trying to put her to sleep, you know, every couple hours, basically, I would like mm -hmm. hold her in my arms and just play a little bit of Red Dead while I could. Nice. Now's a good time to revisit it, but it looks good. It's a sharp game. It performs well and now it loads. It takes about 35 seconds to load from the title screen into the game if you don't have a, qu a quick resume set up. That's still a full minute faster than it was on the Xbox One X. So that's pretty impressive, I'd say. Yeah, and this is a huge yes. game. And that's one of the things I'm really excited about for mm -hmm. this gen is just those faster load times. Like that mm -hmm. just cutting it down thirty seconds, a minute, like yeah, it sounds it sounds mm -hmm. almost negligible, but that's a lot of time when you're just sitting there really <laughs> wanting to play your, your game, you know? So mm -hmm. yeah, I, I love that. Most and, definitely and, like Mm -hmm. No, just like, especially on uh, like PS5, where we see Miles Morales has zero loading screens. Like, mm -hmm. there's nothing. Nothing is loading ever. Mm -hmm. You're just, you're just Nothing in is loading world. ever. Um, well, everything is already loaded. I don't even. Yeah. The, the Sony, like the Miles Morales implementation, we'll talk more about that when we can stream some Sony games. But I'm excited. if you remember in Spider-Man on the PS4 that you were able to like, when you jumped into building, it would cut to loading screen for like five to 10 seconds, right? In Miles Morales, no, you're in. You're in, and when you're done with the mission, you're out and back into mm -hmm. the world. And I'd love to have an example of something like that on Series X, and unfortunately, we don't, because I'm playing games that have been updated for this hardware, and nothing that's been truly built for this hardware. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that is why I'm saying there aren't that many games right now. But hey, if you like right. Red Dead 2, this is the ideal system to play it on, especially since we don't have a PC release of Red Dead 2 anywhere, right? So mm -hmm. who knows if we'll ever get that. This is the best way you can play one of the best games ever made. Wow. Yeah. There it is. There's your box line. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else we want to show off before we... Other that we can't even show off? I could, I'll show off a bit of Dirt 5 because... With the caveat that this is a preview, this is a preview build of Dirt 5. We're told like a new, better build is coming, but we're running in 1080 60. Um, we're not going to be stressing it too much. But I do think like playing this game really made me aware of what can be different with uh, you know, with the Series X because there's more detail on the screen. Uh, there's more detail just driving through a mud road. And let me make sure I turn off the music here because I realize that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not going to like that. Not going to like that at all. No, no Dirt 5 so is nice and colorful, too. School I like that. is AJ's Racing Academy, but I don't know. How's it look on a t-shirt? What do you think, kid? It's colorful. It's cool. It's cool to drive. It's just a fun mm -hmm. game to like dive into different types of cars. So here we go. This looks fun. Oh, I bought this. It's pretty interesting that uh, all these consoles are going to be sold online only. It seems mm -hmm. like, um, you know, they're not going to have, I guess that's quarantine times. We're just, mm -hmm. we're not doing that lineup kind of thing. It makes sense. Uh, so there was a bit of loading there. I'd say under 10 seconds. Yeah. This game's pretty quick. Yeah. It looks good too, like no matter which mode you're in. And all the tracks are so varied and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just do a quick look at this setting. Oh, we can't do that here. You have to oh, win. Change. Oh, man. I have to win. I have to do something right on the stream. Um, I think it looks good, and like this is like the most immediately impressive, like just going into like bumper mode. 
or straight onto the track, and you just see so much detail. Uh, there are a couple different modes. There's a 4K mode, and then I forget the exact thing. Like one is a 60 FPS mode, and there's also a 120 FPS on this. Mm-hmm. It didn't seem like it was worth losing um, graphical fidelity just just for the slightly smoother 120. But I will say, like, 120 FPS on Gears 5 um, in multiplayer is fantastic. Because when I'm staring down a long shot down the um, scope of the sniper rifle, you know, it is, it's so smooth. Like, every flick of my thumb was just immediately shown on the screen. And it's just, it's reduced latency, it's smoother gameplay. That's, like, the main benefit. I wish we could really dive into because there's there's some new technology uh, that Microsoft has employed with the with the newest, uh, with the, uh, with the new Xbox Wireless controller. Yeah. Um, and so it's like lower latency. It has like uh, yeah. dynamic latency and input or something, some kind of reduced system where it's actually uh, communicating directly, you know, with the with the game or the server rather than whatever. That's um, something I think PC gamers will appreciate right. too. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, I think that's a huge, it's a huge step. It's not something I've been able to like feel though in the game necessarily. Um, yeah. it, it's nice, it's nice to know it's there. I would like to learn more about how it's actually working behind the scenes. Um, Most definitely. So yeah, we can figure that out. I feel like it'll make a bigger difference when you're doing things like 120 FPS when you're playing uh, hardcore multiplayer games. Gears Five multiplayer. I've always loved Gears multiplayer, but the Five multiplayer just felt so good. But you need yeah. a new TV for that, so keep mm-hmm. that in mind, folks. My TV doesn't do 120. <laughs> so, my, I bought a TV that w- came out last year that does 120, but not at 4K. Um, mm. So I need HDMI 2.1 for that. If you buy a new TV, you'll hopefully get some of that. Mm-hmm. You can really see the difference in like terrain change here. You're pretty good at this. Oh, man. Let me slow down here. You can get a better sense of like what this game is offering. Mm-hmm. Um, car games are great. Car games are great for showing off new hardware because it's just you see the particle effects, mm-hmm. the reflections, mm-hmm. the lighting. You see the reflections, yeah. the lighting. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. So this is a game like playing this made me think like okay this is this is next gen you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, none of these consoles feel like mm-hmm. they are like lacking in any right, next gen right. capability. You know, they all feel solidly next gen. There's yeah. no question there. Yeah. Do you play racing games in this view? With, oh, oh, you changed it already. Okay. I usually <laughs> yeah, I change your <laughs> your nose I first. Do I do the close up it. view. Yeah, it's way too fast, but I'm doing it for the stream because it just gets you a sense of like how the game feels. Mm-hmm. I normally do racing games like this, so like a little bit yeah. away. You have to do a little over the shoulder, yeah. Yeah. I can never do... Like, I'll switch to the driving mode. It just always feels too claustrophobic. I don't need this sense of realism, you know? No, it's too closed off. You can't see anything. I want to see the track. That? Yeah. In I VR, know though. Up. Playing some Ooh. VR racing games, like, that's fun. Yes, that's fair. And this is, like, a good balance of, like, okay, you got a bit of car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So good. Well, yeah, anything else? Have we, have we gotten? We haven't been looking at the chat too much because we have been dead focused on trying to get the stream going. But if you see anything that, from the chat, let me know. It's always good I to have a couple things. I haven't had it open, actually. I've been it's watching okay. the, on our stream. It's okay. It's okay. But this game, it looks good. It feels good. Um, I am playing it now, so the controller had, does a decent job of, you know, vibration and everything. But it doesn't feel... To me, it doesn't feel that much better than the Xbox One did. I know it feels stronger to you, Jeff, just mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, my one but, disappointment with this system is that, yeah, it feels a little be- less than the dual sense. But, yeah, what, what were you going to say? Just that... Um... Mm-hmm. Someone actually pointed out mm-hmm. in, in my review, they were like, oh, well, you said that PS4 is your console this generation, so maybe you're comparing the Rumble right. of the Xbox right. controller to the to the DualSense, which yeah. I might be. So might, maybe that's why it felt a little strip. It actually feels like harsher. as I'm going through this track and I'm like diving through snow, and by the way, look at the great like lighting effects right now with the snow coming at you at the mm-hmm. camera. Love it. And yeah, and everything's just bouncing off the track like so perfectly. Um, 
with this game, I'm feeling stronger rumble in this controller, so that's something. Okay. Okay, but so I'm not making that up. That's good. No, <laughs> it feels stronger. It just doesn't feel as, like... Oh. It's not as delicate. It's not as precise. Like it's mm -hmm. it's a very brute force kind of rumble that we that we're used to, mm -hmm. where the dual sense is it's like a little massage. It's beautiful. It's a palm. it's a little massage. Actually, I got yeah. one of those. Um, what do you call them? The Thames. Those like the electromagnetic magnetic yeah. pulse things to help with your muscles. So I got that to help with some back pain. And I'm like, oh, this kind of feels like when the dual sense jolts me a little. Uh, it Absolutely. it has that sort of like localized feeling. Yeah. It, it's cool because like mm -hmm. there was there's one scene uh, in Miles Morales which you can read the review on mm -hmm. gadget.com but there's one scene where like his electricity is sparking in his hands and yep. the dual yep. sense does these little bolts of electricity throughout like they it does this little rumble technique that feels like it's like jolting in your hand mm -hmm. it's very cool the dual sense <laughs> is is one of the most exciting things to come out of this generation, I think. I think so. Uh, I, yeah, I totally think sure. so. The minute you open up Astrobot and the controller just kind of shakes you a little, it's yeah. like it like it grabbed me. I didn't expect mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So we're back in Red Dead 2 in under 10 seconds. Pretty good. Quick resume. Done. Look at that. Quick resume. We were in the snow. Now we're on a horse. It's great. Pretty good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anything else? Anything else from chat or any, any thoughts you have? Just like we're going to be thinking about all this stuff. PS5, we're going to do a stream closer to launch, I think, um, because Sony's still working on a bunch of features for that system. So this was not quick resume. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not seeing much in the chat in terms of, uh, do USB headsets work on Series X? USB, I don't, I don't think so. Mm, it don't depends. Know. So there are some, actually, Razer, go check in gadget.com. Mm -hmm. uh, Razer just announced one. So USB typically doesn't work, but they do work when they connect over the Xbox wireless stuff. So Razer announced one. I know SteelSeries has a couple already. Um, those are great. Like, if you just want wireless that will connect to Xbox, those are good options. Um, honestly, though, if you have a good pair of headphones, plugging it into the controller is not... It's not totally the end fine. of the world. It's great. Totally it's fine. great. Buy a good pair of headphones. Buy good Bluetooth headphones. Don't buy headphones that are locked into one console. So my favorites are Sony's MDR, uh, what was it, the uh, H1000s? Mm -hmm. or, um, so the 1000 XM3s I have. The XM4s just came out. They're even better. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, any headphones sound good, and it's easy to just plug in a cable, folks. Yeah, that doesn't mm -hmm. bother me at all. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I can't wait to go back. Like the thing about writing review, guys, I've been writing since last Friday, you know, mm -hmm. and writing, writing, writing about the Xbox stuff. So this review came down to about 3,500 words and I still didn't get all my thoughts in there, but mm -hmm. you know, you can find it all there. We're going to discover new things as we play with these systems. We're going to get access to more games. I really want to see Assassin's Creed. I really want to see what Watch Dogs Legion looks like because we got a glimpse of it <laughs> before and then, um, it was running the way it would on the Xbox One, and that was right. not so great. So, no. uh, yeah, we didn't get access to that anymore. Um, I've played some of that game on my PC, though, and I know it can look good. Um, for me, my big takeaway from all these systems is that this thing is running the power of what you you know get with a one thousand dollar gaming PC. And at, earlier this year, I wrote a piece saying like these systems may kill gaming PCs. I don't mean literally. There will always be yeah. a market for it, but for anybody who has, you know, a limited amount of funds, you want games that look good, that load fast, uh, that can take advantage of your new TVs. Now you can get a console and it will do that. You know, you will not have to build a $1,000 gaming PC as great as the, as the new GPUs look. The best ones start at around 500 bucks. AMD's new Radeon start at 500 bucks. And that's the hardware that's in these consoles. You know, it's not for the, the GPU full power. alone. Yeah. yeah, the exactly. GPU alone yeah. is five hundred dollars. Yeah. A good processor is three to four hundred. You start building all that up, like a, an SSD, a one terabyte SSD is two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. The the beauty of consoles is that all this stuff is simplified. It's in a push button, you know, easy to use format. And I think for once, they got they got the best hardware, the best hardware mm -hmm. all around. No more mechanical hard drives. We should all really uh, appreciate the fact those are dead because I don't want to see another one. Please <laughs> rejoice. <laughs> SSDs Rejoice. are here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, uh, I think 
I think that was the Series X. We've done it. We've shown you the Series X. All right. We've shown you as um, much well, as we can show right now. So as much as we can. Yeah. 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 But we're we're going to be around. I mean, this whole next week, we still got more to come. So stay tuned to Engadget.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and I am on Twitter at Jess Condit, C-O-N-D-I-T-T. -T. On Instagram, Jess L. Condit. And then where are you, Diff? Oh, I'm at Devendra on Twitter. Um, yeah, I regularly also co-host the Engadget podcast. Be sure to listen to the last episode with me and Jess because we also go deep into all these systems and our thoughts. I'm sure, Jess, you'll be back to talk PS5 soon. Um, it is, it's an exciting time. Um, good luck, everybody. And yeah, don't just doom scroll. That, that's my one advice to everybody. Play some games, get your mind off of things because things are in weird flex right now. But hey, we've got new, <laughs> new systems and new fun things to play with too. Yeah, at least we have new games. Um, we have new yeah. games. It'll save us, All right. right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, guys. Happy Friday. Bye. See you.